Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Pots, Pans, and Priscilla. Today we are in the kitchen. I have missed y'all so much. And who is ready for spring? I am, and this recipe is gonna help you get ready for spring as well. So this is gonna be a tortellini pasta salad, and you can kind of add and take away whatever you want, but the main ingredient is tortellini. So I got the five cheese tortellini from Costco. It's a huge um, bag of it, but you can grab it right at your grocery store, and it's gonna be super quick and easy, which, who has time to be in the kitchen all day? So we're just gonna get our water boiling while we cut up these vegetables. Um, I am using some tomatoes, some bell pepper, different colors. It's gonna be pretty and colorful. Cucumber, red onion, feta cheese, and a rotisserie chicken that I deboned. You can take the chicken out. When I made this for um, an event that I went to, I did not have chicken, but we're having this as like a meal instead of a side. So you can kind of do it both ways. I would also recommend maybe not putting the cheese in until you get to, if you're taking it to an event, in case you have anybody that can't have cheese, and then leaving the dressing off until you're ready to eat it so it doesn't get like mushy. Nobody likes mushy. <laughs> we were just laughing because people always ask, where do you get your outfits from? Well, this outfit, it's old outfit for our dress from Lane Bryant. My earrings are from Ronda Madrid. And I told Asa, hair curled by Bo Stiegel, not himself. <laughs> I actually curled my hair, but that curling iron is, I live in the South. It's humid here. My hair does not stay curled unless it's with that curling iron. So I highly recommend it. And you can find all my links and everything on my website, priscillamoss.com. Head over and show me some love. You can sign up to get email notifications as well. I'm gonna throw some salt in our water and then we're just gonna add that tortellini. So these tortellinis are pre-cooked. You're just gonna throw them in here and let them boil for about two minutes. I know in the past I've been so bad about not like doing recipes because that's how I cook and it's hard to just be natural with it. But I'm gonna drop it down below, let you know how much I use of everything um, and then you guys let me know what you add or take away from it because it's literally whatever you want to do with this recipe. That's the joy of it. I also wanted to tell you guys about this. I, I love this. A friend of mine bought me one and then I got one off of Amazon. So it's infused sea salt sampler and it comes with all different kinds of salts, a cute little wooden spoon. It's perfect for a gift for someone maybe that's cooking. Maybe you have a college student that needs some um, spices for their kitchen. That's a great, so a great item. So I'm gonna link that down below from Amazon. I don't think it's very expensive at all. So while we're waiting on that, we're gonna throw our vegetables in here. And I always recommend doing a glass dish if you have it, because you're gonna see those pretty colors. I've got my cherry tomatoes. Normally I would cut them in half, but my family does not like tomato juice. <laughs> so I am going to just rinse them off and put some in here whole. That way they can just pick around it. So if you have picky eaters, there you go. There's a tip for you. Then we've got our tortellini. I'm gonna strain it, but then I'm gonna run cold water over it because this is more of a cold salad. So if you have time to make it ahead of time, you wanna make it and then throw it in the fridge. Like I said, we have some rotisserie chicken. I bought mine at our local Publix. Um, I love getting it from there. That's how I make my chicken salad. And you can really utilize that chicken. Look at that. Um, and you get so much off of those rotisserie chickens. I usually get the mojo flavored one and then I can just throw it in a recipe like this or have it for salads or chicken salad or however you want to do it, but it's fresh and it's way better than the canned chicken. <laughs> so I know my family is going to be the ones eating this. So I am going to throw in like the salt and the pepper and the feta cheese and the tortellini. Like I'm going to throw it all together. But again, if you're going somewhere, you don't really know everyone, like what, like maybe they can't have dairy, then don't throw the cheese in there, just have it on the side for them. The star of the show. I actually got this recipe from Jared and Britt. She made something like this. She did make a homemade dressing, which I do wanna make, but I didn't have time today. So we're going with what we have. But thanks Britt <laughs> for the idea. Just gonna throw some pepper on. And then I am gonna throw some of my salt on here and then we'll mix it up. Um, 
guys, this is going to be the best lunch or dinner, whatever you want. And that's why, you know, you can leave the chicken off if you want something lighter. Um, so we are having it for lunch today. And we're just going to mix that up. And how nice is it to have one um, whole meal in one bowl? And I literally like had to cook the pasta for a little bit, like three minutes, two minutes. And we have lunch. That's so nice. Let's throw some feta on here. As much or as little as your little heart desires. You're going to throw that dressing on. Again, if you're not taking this somewhere, like today, don't like use it. I mean... It is good once it starts to marinate in there. So I'm going to put it on there and then um, we're going to eat it now, put it in the fridge and it'll be perfect. So a little cheat code, just get that Olive Garden dressing. It's amazing. I usually use Good Seasons Italian dressing um, or like I said, uh, Britt made her own dressing. So if you have time to do that, that's always a great recommendation as well. Abby, I need you to come be my taste tester. I think she's gonna love this. There it is. Look, this is what I was talking about. It's so pretty on the bottom. Thank you all so much for hanging out today. Thanks for all of your support. If you haven't, go, go ahead and like and subscribe and we will see you next time. Bye guys. Here you go. Enjoy. <laughs> now, the, I've only made this one other time, but I didn't add chicken to it. Good. Do you love it? She's like, oh, she needs water. Okay, we'll get you some water. But I think you like it, huh? Yay, it's a winner.